you guys so we just landed uh, in portland airport pdx and i look like crap because i have no makeup on our flight was supposed to be at like 7 a.m but it got canceled and then we had to switch airports so it was a whole thing but our flight was at 11 a.m we just landed here it's about 1:30 or so it's gonna be closer to two and we're waiting to get our car rental so right now he's checking us in and hopefully we get the white jeep wrangler that i wanted so we'll see okay so we just got our car rental it's a super cute white jeep it's a two-door i wanted a four-door but they didn't have any more available in white so yeah so cute definitely excited to drive it around but he's gonna drive for right now because I'm tired and we're gonna go check into the hotel and then go explore a bit. So we just got to our hotel, the Hotel Vintage Kimpton. So we're about to check in. Let's go check it out. Super vintage. Cute little couch. It's actually like very spacious. And we have our little dinner table here. Super cute. All right guys, we are off to dinner. We are so hungry. We're going to this place called Ox Restaurant. It has really good reviews. And do you guys like where I put my hair clip? <laughs> Let's go. Okay guys, so we just walked around downtown for a little bit. Not really, we drove around. <laughs> we're so full from dinner and we're just tired because today was our travel day. So we have four more days here, so obviously we're gonna walk and do more things on the other days, but right now we're looking for a CVS. I forgot to bring hairspray and uh, we just wanted some snacks for the room. So we're gonna go do that right now. Let's go. Thank you, babe. Hi, everyone. So we are on our way to go get some coffee at Less and More Coffee, and then we're gonna go to Cannon Beach. So I'm really excited. It's kind of cold right now, but I know the beach is gonna be just as cold, but we're so excited to go check it out. It's like one of the most beautiful beaches out here um, near Portland. So yeah, we'll go ahead and take you guys with us and sorry the roads look a little bumpy right now but jeep life also i'm gonna be driving to the beach after we grab coffee so i'm excited to drive and like have a feel for what it is to own a jeep because i've always wanted one so i'm like well let me see if i even like how they drive um which i don't know if like the two-door drives differently than the four-door but we have a two-door one so if you guys own a jeep and you have any thoughts behind it on um, pros and cons of owning a jeep wrangler please comment below and let me know Hey guys, so we just got coffee from Less and More Coffee. I got the Spanish latte. It is so delicious. And look at my hair acting up, you guys. This like weather is not friends with my hair. Okay. 
And then they were nice enough to give us uh, their famous tiramisu latte. We wanted to get it, but it's kind of cold here, so it only comes iced. And they were like, let's just give it to them so you guys can try it out. And they were just super sweet, so I really recommend less and more coffee if you guys come to Portland. It's also different because it's like out on the street kind of like a pop-up kind of feel and so yeah the tiramisu one is super good um but obviously it's a little cold right now so we might um drink it on the way to cannon beach with the heater on and then my guy right now went to go grab us um <laughs> we stopped at ross but i didn't want to go in but he went to go get one of those um what is it called like they hang on your on your windshield so we can like put our phone on there basically because we have a rental car and we're driving a lot and we don't know the area we just constantly keep looking down on our phones for the map and that is not safe and so we wanted to go get one you know they're like five six bucks so we're like we might as well then just keep it for you know whenever we travel or just take it back home with us but yeah so i'll let you guys know how it goes with me driving. I'm about to drive to Cannon Beach and um, he's probably going to film me just a bit of me driving the Jeep. So my first time driving a Jeep. I'm so excited and let's see how that goes. I think I like driving a Jeep, guys. a little pickle out here <laughs> with the jeep wrangler we kind of drove it a little bit too far into the beach so got stuck for a minute but it's all good now and we're just really enjoying our trip so we're just gonna enjoy this time here at the beach for a little bit and then head out and i did get some content photos and i'll share with you guys here how those came out as well quite an adventure out here but we met some like really nice people really really helpful people as you can see i put my hair up because it started like getting very misty and my hair just does not do well my hair is naturally curly so it's like sponges out we're gonna stop here right now to use the restroom really quickly and then head back to portland because it's like an hour and a half drive so So we are on our way to go grab some coffee now from Good Coffee. It's about a four minute walk from our hotel. So we're gonna go get that and then we're gonna go head to church. Um, he found a really good church out here that has really good worship. And so we're just excited to go there as well. So I'll show you guys the coffee shop in a bit. I'm like out of breath already. worship was so good i will tag the church right here for you guys if you're interested in looking at their page or if you live near portland i would highly recommend to go here we'll definitely be back if we're ever in portland again we really liked it and they also gave you three little donut holes so oh, we're on our way back to the hotel we sorry we're actually getting upgraded um the front desk was really sweet and they're upgrading us to a king spa suite and so we're moving for the second half of our trip to a different room so we're gonna go switch everything over and then go continue to explore okay so we just got our new room as i shared with you guys we were upgraded 
they hooked it up i'm so appreciative um he found out that i like to do vlogs and i vlog and so they totally moved us up to their next room up which is the king spa suite this is our bed the bed frame is the same as our last room but the bathroom i didn't even show you guys the last bathroom because it literally just had like the smallest bathtub ever but this one is an actual like jet tub you know big tub and so yeah really good lighting here with that ring light mirror we have a really nice beautiful long dinner table and we have a little like kitchenette area which our last room did not have i'm super appreciative thank you antoine so much for hooking it up here at the kimpton hotel vintage in portland we are so thankful like to be able to spend the second half of our trip in a different room now i'm gonna go help my guy move our stuff from our old room so we can move it all into our new room Got the food. I got the chicken yellow curry and then a Thai tea, the side of rice, and then this is pad thai noodles. So we're gonna go ahead and dig in now. It looks really, really good. Ecuadorian, Indonesian, and Vietnamese. Okay, so we got a drink chocolate and then the Mexican hot chocolate. Ooh, that sugar sweet, you got what I need. Sipping on the potion, all that good emotion. Just my kind of heat, keep it on repeat. Tested by the potion. Okay guys, we are officially on our way to Keeper Coffee. Oh. <laughs> it's that cheap Wrangler life. It's going real fast and bumping around there. Anyways, um, I hope that there's not a big line and I hope there's not a lot of people because I want to take a picture in there to show off my cute outfit. And yeah, so let's, let's hope for that. Also, I did share on my stories, I asked um, feedback from you guys, a poll, if you guys are interested in learning how to do this quick messy bun updo, I call it a bird's nest. If you guys want to learn how to do it, leave me a comment below and yeah, I think I, I am going to do a reel on it or something though because it's just super easy and I really like how it came out. So let me know your thoughts. had the best zucchini bread of my life oh, yeah. so good but I'm only gonna eat a little bit more because these pants fit me tight already so yeah also had a really good coffee and how cute are these mugs yeah get it get that zucchini bread okay guys so we just we didn't just leave but we went to keepers coffee which was really cute really good there was a lot of people there so we just took some really quick photos and enjoyed our coffee and everything. And I had to stop by um, Walmart really quick because I had to buy like a hoodie or something. This, just because we're gonna go hiking and I totally forgot to pack hiking gear or anything like that or something like really warm since it is a lot colder over here. But luckily I found this in the boys section and I think it's pretty cute. It matches my Fabletic sweats that I'm wearing and they're also like a navy blue so it just works out. Hopefully this keeps me warm enough. I'm also wearing a thermal underneath. But we are on our way to Multnomah Falls. Multnomah? I hope I said it right. And it's 
supposed to be about an hour and a half hike and a really gorgeous view so we're just hoping that it stops raining it's kind of sprinkling right now but we'll obviously take you guys with us and hopefully you enjoy the falls as well all right guys we are here and you can actually see the waterfall right behind me so i'll show you guys how that looks but we are gonna still hike it just because it's not like a long hike hike it's about two miles so let me show you guys the waterfall I thought my hoodie was gonna be enough, but I had to put my coat on because it's like really, really, really cold. So. And yes, I'm that person that has an umbrella while hiking. It is crazy, but it's beautiful. Hi hey guys, so we are now on our way to King Tide. It's a pretty popular restaurant and it has really good reviews. And so it's actually at the other Kimpton Hotel. There's two Kimptons here in Portland and so we're just excited to go have dinner. We didn't really have, we didn't really eat today actually. We just, we shared a quiche early in the morning and then we didn't have any lunch. We just went straight to Multnomah Falls. But yeah, so we're excited to eat. We have an appetite. You're not gonna like it. Alright, so I got the fish and chips with their homemade fries. And then he got their um, specialty burger with their homemade fries. And obviously I didn't feel like getting ready this morning so we're walking back to the hotel we're gonna pack our bags and then we have a late checkout today which is nice because our flight isn't until 8 p.m. tonight so we're gonna go and explore it's nice that we have a rental car so we can just pack up all our stuff all our luggage is there and then just still go explore the city we are almost to our destination we are gonna go see a plane in the woods like an airplane in the woods. So we're excited. We are officially here, the airplane in the woods. That's insane. Like somebody lives here. Somebody lives inside this airplane. That's so cool. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how it looks. Um, but yeah, we're just excited. Uh, my boyfriend researched this and he really wanted to come here. We're excited to meet Bruce. Bruce lives here and hopefully he can share his story with us on how he got this airplane here. Hello again. So we just finished touring the airplane. It's called a jetliner home. Actually, we learned so much from Bruce. I'll share a little bit about what he talked about, how he got here, what's his inspiration, what does version 2.0 look like, and how you can also have your own jetliner home if you want. I do have the heater on, on blast right now. We're about to go head out to grab a quick bite, and then we're gonna go to the airport. 